Hey friends, have you ever wondered why everything around you looks like the way it is? I mean, why the giraffe has a long neck? Why different birds have different types of beaks? Or why do you have a cutesy woodsy nose on your face? Well, everything we see around is the result of evolution. And what is that? To know more about it, let us evolve to the next level of video and learn how evolution changed the way the people viewed themselves and the world around us. Zoom in! So, what is evolution? Evolution is defined as any change in the heritable traits within a population across a generation. I know this could be a bit difficult to understand through definition. So, let's find the answer to a revolutionary question. How evolution works? For that, we need to call Kitty. Hey Kitty Kitty, come here. Let's have a closer look at her. Just like her, every creature is made up of cells. These cells have the nucleus that contains chromosomes that holds the DNA, a chain like chemicals. These DNA have genes that include coded information that builds different species, including you. But the information stored in your DNA is a bit different than the information contained in Kitty's DNA. That is why you two look and act so different from each other. Because it is unique to every creature. In simple creatures like a single cell amoeba, reproduction happens by copying of DNA within their own body and moving these copies to each side of it. Then they split into two parts and grow back to a fully formed creature. And if everything goes smoothly, the two new amoebae will be an exact copy of each other. But things don't always go according to the plan. While copying the DNA, errors can occur, resulting in modifying the DNA code. This process is called DNA mutation. These mutations that can be random or accidental causes variation in the body shape and characteristics of the creatures who inherits it. And if the new creature survives long enough to reproduce, these unique characteristics will be passed on to its new generation, resulting in the evolution of that species. But evolution in humans and other creatures like dogs, cats, whales, etc. are a bit complicated because it depends on two creatures than one. Like when two creatures fall in love with each other, a sperm cell from father that contains a copy of 50% of his DNA is combined with an egg cell of the mother that includes 50% copy of her DNA that results in a brand new set of DNA in the new baby creature. Now, these baby creatures have a random mix of DNA mixing the traits and characteristics of their parents. So, the new combination of traits along with their own unique features like extra long ears can be passed to their children, resulting in evolution. That is, any change in the heritable traits within a population across a generation. Trivia time! Did you know every living thing can trace its ancestry to a bacterium that lived billions of years ago? Also, did you know that inside some whales are small bones that show that they once had back legs and they had ancestors that walked on land? To watch the process how it all happens, you can click on the link below. It's question time! Today's question is, what is the process of errors in modifying the DNA code called? 
do write your answer in the comment section below and hit the like and subscribe button to be a part of the Peekaboo family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode and until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.